I'm fishing a jig in about 12 feet of water right now. What I'm doing is actually drifting along a brake line. And this is a real neat way to fish a jig. A lot of people don't think about this. I'm actually moving the jig with me versus vertically jigging. But there's a trick to fishing a jig when you're drifting. And that is how you hold your rod tip to feel the bite. You'll notice that as I drop my rod tip and lift it back up, I constantly hold that tip high. And what that is, is because the bait is actually swinging back down. It's getting back down to the bottom with that jig. But if I constantly lift and drop, I'm on a slack line. And the minute I go on a slack line, I'm not going to feel the fish. So what I'm doing is actually very subtly just dropping that rod tip, lifting it up and holding it. And I know at that point it's swinging back down toward the bottom. And when I get bit, I'm actually going to feel it. Now each time when I lift that tip, and there's a fish, he sucked right onto it and I was holding the tip, and there we got him. That's the whole key here. Had I dropped that line, I'm drifting along at a pretty good rate. Had I dropped that line, I never would have been able to feel them. And on a day like today, it's even hard to see the line. So if you're a line watcher, you got this wind blowing, and you're drifting along, it can get pretty tough. I think this is actually a pretty good one. Oh yeah. We got them right where you're supposed to get them. Right in that upper lip. And we got them in the boat. I'll tell you what, that right there is exactly why you hold that rod tip in the air and you jig subtly. This fish, this is good walleye, he might have followed this thing for literally a city block. You never know. But he was behind it and grabbed it and we got him.